Okay, um, racing season just started uh, for Belgium. We had the first training last weekend. And um, today is the day of giving the birds a bath. We promised people, the fanciers, to give them some tips before racing season starts. As you can see, it's the second round of young birds, which is now flying out and uh, taking a bath. You can see on the water there's quite some uh, uh, flower which is coming from the healthy uh, powder on the pigeons. Just uh, some tips uh, which are important at the beginning of the season. So what we did, we did a checkup, the vet did a checkup. So first of all, you go to the vet with some birds, check the droppings, looking if there is no canker, treacle, how we call it on the birds, see if there is no coccidian worms, and if possible, uh, as well as swab test, so that you know if there is any bacterial disease or anything else on the birds. Depending on that, you can start giving them uh, a canker treatment. Three, between three and seven days, the vet will uh, advise you for how long you have to give it. Um, depending on the results of the swab test, you probably have to, yes or no, give them another treatment uh, based on amoxy or based on any other uh, necessary medicine. Uh, that's important. So later on we would like uh, to tell you the steps which we follow uh, week after week. Important is, when the pigeon returns from the race, for example yesterday the bird came back from the race, we gave it recoup fast. Recoup fast, uh, it says itself, recuperation, fast recuperation. Uh, I must honestly uh, say that um, I gave a very low dose yesterday. The race was not very hard and I prefer to increase the dose that I'm giving depending on how hard the race is going to be. Uh, in a few weeks we will have a race of 200, 300, later on 4, 500 km. And depending on that I will give more recoup fast in the water, yes or no. Um, Yesterday I gave the recoup fast in the water and the second water in the afternoon I already gave them fresh water. I gave them fresh water because it's important that the bird can drink uh, as much as he like. And also the next day like today as you can see the birds are having their bath. And if I already gave them the next product, the tea tonic in the water, uh, they prefer to drink in the bath which we don't like. So. The second day, I first let the pigeons out, having their bath. Of course, they are a little bit scared now because of the hawk. We had quite some problems with uh, the hawk catching birds, so that's the reason why they are a little bit nervous. So, the tea tonic, I wait giving it in the water. When the birds are out, during the hour that the birds are flying out, I give them the tea tonic in the water. The tea tonic stays the next day in the water and Usually I let in the water until they finish the drink. Maybe it's the second day or even the day, the day after, leave it in the water. That's the second thing, tea tonic. Then another important day, with, thing which can start also the next day is, I call it the liver cleaning. We give the metahol. The metahol will first of all clean the liver, but also when there, there are these little down feathers, how we call them, these very little feathers, uh, it will help them increase the drop, the dropping, the dropping faster of that these uh, feathers. We do that with the metahol. At the same time, you can already give them the carbo on the food. The carbo, the carbo is a, a vitamin mixture, but don't call it. I don't like to call it a vitamin mixture because there is so much inside of the carbo. There is no product, my opinion, on the market which can bring or can make pigeons train so fast as carbo. So I give them carbo the next day to, um, to make them train as fast as possible. For me it's important I try to keep birds an hour in the air. So as long as they don't do that I will keep on giving them the metahol with the carbo or the metahol with the amino build. The amino build, it says amino build, it says itself the necessary amino uh, acids um, uh, which we give the bird. That's then the second step. I keep on giving them uh, metahol as long as I think that the liver is not clean or the bird is not uh, recovered uh, good enough. 
The same with carbo, I keep on giving them carbo day after day until they fly for one hour. The same with amino build, I give them the amino build, the necessary amino acid, as long as it's necessary. That's that, that, that second or third step, as long as you will call it. Then, after that, we go on the fat, which we give them with health oil. In the health oil, we have the necessary oil to build up energy. And that goes together with the Carbo Plus. The Carbo Plus, the plus also stands for the plus energy, more energy. So these are basically the steps which, are, which we are following to make a bird recover and train as fast as possible after returning from a race.